At least eight bridges and four roads in the Chiga district have been destroyed by heavy rains that have left them in a critical condition, cutting off access to facilities such as hospitals, schools, district headquarters and churches among others. Among the bridges destroyed is Kabisha Bridge that connects Kafunjo Parish in Kashambia Subcounty, Chiga District, to Bikongozo Parish in Nyarshan Subcounty, Nukonji District, Chen Bridge that connects Chigala and Chibanda Parish in Kamwe Subcounty, Paro Bridge that connects Rishabaya Trading Center to Guamchut Subcounty, Chogo Bridge that connects Chogo Parish to Chogo Health Center to Mungkola Bridge along Kamwe's Road, Yakawanga Bridge along Goma Tunguru Kasheche Road, Chitaraka Foot Bridge connecting Rishabaya to Chihodezo, Rugoma Bridge on Kachirizi, Rugoma Mchogo Road. The roads destroyed include Rushebeya North Butambi Road in Guamchut Sub County, Nyaru Ziba, Nyakashebe Yalu Yum Road in Kashambia Sub County, Kamwe Sibanda Road, and Sindi Kateche Road in Paro Town Council. This attracted the attention of the State Minister of Works, Honorable Ichuya Musa, who yesterday led a team of engineers from the Ministry of Works and the Uganda National Roads Authority to assess the damages made on these roads and bridges in Uchiga District to get possible solutions. Residents say that these destroyed bridges and roads have hindered them from accessing their gardens, services such as health and education, among others, where expectant mothers and peoples have found it a challenge and risky for them to access services. <laughs> The Chika District LC5 Chairperson Baba Zirobat says that a lot of services such as business, health services and education among others have been affected by the heavy rains that destroyed gardens, bridges and roads connecting to gardens and certain facilities. <laughs> So in fact, the Chiga County Legislator Honor Bruno and Gyomajenyi says that roads are a major component of development to both people and government, adding that the destruction of these roads and bridges has denied access to some areas hence hindering business in the area, something that has contributed much to affecting the country's economy. The road is a, a, a major component of development and human life. Uh, roads, water and, and electricity, they are the most important. Uh, aspects of uh, human life and uh, the economy. So when the bridges are, uh, are caving in, uh, when uh, the roads are impassable, lives are being lost, uh, property is being lost, uh, business is being lost, and it affects everyone, you know, everyone including uh, the government because you cannot get taxes when, you are not, when people are not earning. So the impact is huge. The State Minister of Works, Honorable Ishilu Musa, says that the assessment tour in Nochiga district doesn't imply that they are to start works with effect, adding that the assessment report made will generate medium and long term interventions, further saying that the destroyed bridges and roads connecting to facilities such as hospitals and schools will be quickly responded to. We are not here to say we are going to do this, we are going to do this, we are going to do this. But I'm very confident that our assessment and the report that this distinguished engineers are going to compile is going to generate interventions. Some will be immediate, some will be medium term, and some will be long term interventions. But we are going to sequence our thinking in such a way that there are areas that must be accessed now. If it is a health center, for example, how can people 
because we can't tell these people who are sick to wait until we get ready. Honorable Echiru also adds that the second quarter release, especially for loads, is going to be better than this year's first quarter release, saying that the district will be provided with culverts and funds to fix minor infrastructure amidst the ministry's intervention. We are going to get a little bit of raised road fund, uh, money from road fund, the district, so that the districts can receive the culverts and be able also to fix some areas. Because there are some areas where the district have visited with my chairman here. There are some areas who have agreed that if the district can be given some little money to fuel the, 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 the equipment and, and, and then the calibers, they can fix. So that is also one, one area. Then the third one is, is my, my, my team. That's why I have come with the engineer Laconero and, and the person in charge of Barara from the ministry. We have so many options. There is force account, there is roads and bridges. We are going to look at some of those bridges within our uh, uh, resources and see which one can we start with immediately. According to the district engineer, Mr. James Chiganda, renovation of roads requires 550 million and 120 million for each bridge to be worked on. Nobody Gamachi, Fuchigese Television.